In the bustling world we live in, where success, relationships, and material possessions often dominate our aspirations, it becomes all too easy to chase external validation in the hope that it will lead to genuine happiness. However, Stoicism teaches us that true fulfillment arises not from what we acquire or who we know, but from our internal state and the way we respond to life's challenges. At its core, Stoicism emphasizes the importance of understanding what is within our control and what lies beyond it. This perspective encourages us to focus on our thoughts, actions, and attitudes, rather than becoming entangled in the fickle nature of external circumstances. By cultivating virtues such as wisdom, courage, and self-discipline, we learn to navigate life's ups and downs with grace, recognizing that our emotional well-being is rooted in our choices rather than our possessions or social standing. Ultimately, embracing stoicism allows us to shift our focus inward, fostering resilience and contentment that remains unshaken by the chaos of the outside world, and guiding us toward a deeper, more authentic sense of happiness. Stoicism, rooted in ancient Greek philosophy, advocates for the cultivation of self-control, reason, and emotional resilience as fundamental components of a fulfilling life. At its core, Stoicism teaches us to align our actions with the natural order of the universe, encouraging us to accept the things we cannot change while focusing our energy on what is within our power to influence. This perspective fosters a profound sense of inner peace, as it liberates us from the incessant need for external validation. By embracing Stoic principles, we learn to appreciate our intrinsic worth, cultivating a sense of self that is independent of others' opinions. This journey towards self-acceptance not only enhances our emotional stability, but also empowers us to navigate life's challenges with equanimity, transforming adversity into an opportunity for growth. Ultimately, Stoicism equips us with the tools to build a life characterized by purpose, resilience, and a deep appreciation for our authentic selves. In this video, we will explore four behaviors of people who do not truly value you. By identifying and understanding these behaviors, you can protect yourself from being hurt and prevent them from diminishing your sense of self-worth. So let's get started. Behavior number one, they take advantage of your time and energy. People who do not value you often exploit your time and energy, treating your kindness and willingness to help as a given rather than a privilege. They frequently reach out for favors, expecting you to assist them without any intention of returning the gesture, which can create an unbalanced dynamic in your relationships. This lack of reciprocity can leave you feeling drained and unappreciated, as they take advantage of your generosity while contributing little in return. Additionally, these individuals may attempt to pull you into their problems or drama, imposing their emotional burdens on you despite it not being your responsibility to fix or even engage with their issues. This manipulation can lead to an emotional toll, as you may find yourself feeling overwhelmed by their chaos while neglecting your own needs and priorities. Recognizing this behavior is essential. It allows you to establish boundaries that protect your time and emotional resources, ensuring that you invest in relationships that uplift and respect you. Moreover, this kind of dynamic can create a sense of emotional dependency where the other person relies on you to alleviate their distress while you may feel compelled to help out of guilt or obligation. Over time, this pattern can erode your self-esteem and lead to feelings of resentment, as you might begin to question your worth and whether your contributions are truly valued. It's important to remember that healthy relationships are built on mutual respect and support. When interactions are one-sided, it not only stunts your personal growth but also perpetuates a cycle of imbalance that can be difficult to escape. Taking a stoic approach can be particularly beneficial in addressing these issues. By cultivating self-awareness and recognizing the limits of your obligations, 
you can learn to prioritize your own needs without feeling guilty. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control, our responses and choices, rather than the actions of others. This mindset empowers you to set firm boundaries, enabling you to say no to requests that drain your energy or detract from your well-being. When you refuse to engage with those who do not value your time and efforts, you create space in your life for relationships that are grounded in mutual respect and understanding. Embracing this wisdom allows you to reclaim your time and energy, ensuring they are invested in connections that bring you joy and fulfillment rather than those that leave you feeling depleted and undervalued. Set boundaries. Establishing clear boundaries in relationships is essential for mutual respect and understanding. When you communicate what you are and are not willing to do for others, you create a framework that fosters healthy interactions. This transparency helps prevent misunderstandings and resentment as it sets realistic expectations. For instance, if you express that you are willing to lend support but not sacrifice your own well-being or time, you empower both yourself and the other person to navigate the relationship with clarity. By articulating your limits, you encourage others to respect your time and energy, paving the way for more meaningful connections. This practice not only strengthens your self-advocacy, but also allows others to better understand how to interact with you, promoting a dynamic of mutual appreciation and care. Don't be afraid to say no. Saying no can be one of the most powerful tools for maintaining your boundaries and protecting your well-being. Many people struggle with this concept because they fear disappointing others or facing potential conflict. However, it's essential to recognize that your comfort and mental health should take precedence over the expectations of others. When someone requests something that makes you uneasy, be it a favor, a social engagement, or a commitment that stretches you too thin, it's perfectly acceptable to decline. By asserting yourself in this way, you not only respect your limits but also model healthy behavior for others, fostering an environment where mutual respect prevails. Remember, saying no does not make you selfish. It demonstrates self-awareness and courage. It allows you to prioritize your needs, enabling you to engage more fully and authentically in the relationships and commitments that truly matter to you. In essence, Embracing the power of no can lead to greater clarity, balance, and emotional resilience in your life. Focus on your own needs and priorities. In our fast-paced, interconnected world, it's all too easy to become entangled in the problems and dramas of others, often at the expense of our own well-being. While empathy and support for loved ones are important, we must draw a clear boundary to protect our time and energy. Allowing others' issues to consume us can lead to emotional burnout, distraction from our own goals, and a diminished capacity to deal with our challenges effectively. Each person is ultimately responsible for their own journey, and while we can lend a listening ear or offer advice, we should refrain from becoming the solution to their problems. Prioritizing our own needs and responsibilities enables us to maintain our focus, energy, and emotional stability, empowering us to be more present and effective in our own lives. By fostering a mindset rooted in self-care and discernment, we not only preserve our mental resources but also model healthy boundaries for those around us, encouraging them to take ownership of their struggles and seek their own solutions. Behavior number two, they are critical and judgmental. People who do not value you often exhibit critical and judgmental behavior, stemming from their insecurities or their desire to assert dominance. This negativity can manifest in various forms, such as belittling your achievements or undermining your self-worth. They may use sarcasm or passive aggressive remarks, attempting to make you feel inadequate or ashamed of your successes. This criticism can be particularly damaging as it chips away at your confidence and fosters self-doubt. Additionally, these individuals might engage in gossip or spread rumors, 
painting you in a negative light to others. This tactic serves a dual purpose. It not only distracts from their shortcomings, but also attempts to isolate you by tarnishing your reputation within your social circle. Ultimately, their behavior reflects their inability to appreciate your value and can lead to a toxic dynamic that undermines your sense of self and well-being. Recognizing these patterns is crucial. It empowers you to distance yourself from such influences and seek relationships that foster mutual respect and support. Moreover, the critical nature of individuals who do not value you often comes from a place of fear or jealousy. They may feel threatened by your accomplishments, skills, or even your potential, prompting them to attack rather than uplift. This projection of their insecurities can create an environment of hostility where their negativity overshadows your strengths and successes. In a professional setting, for instance, such individuals may undermine your contributions in meetings, dismissing your ideas as unworthy or irrelevant. This not only impacts your professional image, but can also affect team dynamics, creating an atmosphere where collaboration becomes difficult. In personal relationships, this critical behavior can be equally damaging. Friends or acquaintances who engage in gossip or spread unfounded rumors can distort how others perceive you, often leading to misunderstandings and unwarranted judgments. The fallout from such actions can lead to isolation, as you might find it challenging to connect with others who have been influenced by these false narratives. Additionally, being on the receiving end of judgment and criticism can lead to increased anxiety and stress, impacting your mental health and overall quality of life. Recognizing the signs of these toxic relationships is essential for protecting your emotional well-being. It's important to set boundaries and distance yourself from those who consistently bring negativity into your life. Surrounding yourself with individuals who appreciate your worth and support your journey can create a much healthier environment where you can thrive. By fostering relationships built on mutual respect and admiration, you can cultivate a sense of belonging and self-acceptance, allowing you to flourish both personally and professionally. Ultimately, Stepping away from those who do not value you not only protects your self-esteem, but also paves the way for healthier interactions and greater happiness. Don't take their criticism personally. Understanding that others' words often stem from their own insecurities and unhappiness can be a powerful tool for emotional resilience. When someone criticizes or belittles you, it may reveal more about their internal struggles than about your worth or capabilities. Many individuals project their fears, frustrations, and disappointments onto others as a defense mechanism, seeking to elevate themselves by putting someone else down. This behavior can stem from feelings of inadequacy, jealousy, or unresolved issues. By recognizing this dynamic, you can cultivate a sense of compassion rather than taking their words to heart. Instead of reacting defensively or absorbing their negativity, you can remind yourself that their comments are not a definitive judgment of your character, but rather a reflection of their own emotional state. This perspective allows you to maintain your self-esteem and inner peace, enabling you to respond with grace and empathy rather than anger or hurt. Ultimately, it empowers you to focus on your own growth and well-being, rather than getting caught up in the turmoil of others. Focus on your own self-worth. In a world brimming with diverse perspectives, it's crucial to remember that other people's opinions do not define who you are. Each individual views life through their own unique lens, shaped by their experiences, biases, and circumstances. When you allow others' judgments and perceptions to influence your self-worth, you give away your power and autonomy, becoming a reflection of external expectations rather than your authentic self. This can lead to a constant struggle for approval and validation, leaving you feeling anxious and unfulfilled. Embracing your true identity means recognizing that your value is inherent, independent of outside opinions. 
by cultivating self-awareness and grounding your sense of self in your own beliefs, values, and experiences, you liberate yourself from the shackles of societal pressures. This stoic approach fosters resilience, empowering you to navigate criticism and praise alike with equanimity. Ultimately, the path to inner peace and confidence lies in understanding that you are the architect of your identity and no one else has the right to dictate your worth or potential. Surrounding yourself with positive and supportive people is crucial for fostering a healthy mindset and enhancing your emotional resilience. These individuals not only uplift you with their encouragement, but also inspire you to pursue your goals and ambitions. Positive people tend to have an optimistic outlook on life, which can be infectious. Their energy can help you see challenges as opportunities rather than obstacles. Moreover, supportive relationships provide a safe space for vulnerability, allowing you to express your fears and aspirations without judgment. This environment encourages personal growth and self-reflection, essential elements for building inner peace. Additionally, when you engage with those who genuinely care for your well-being, you are more likely to receive constructive feedback that helps you improve and grow. In contrast, negative or toxic individuals can drain your energy, foster self-doubt, and hinder your progress. By consciously choosing to surround yourself with positive influences, you create a network that not only reinforces your strengths, but also challenges you to become the best version of yourself. Behavior number three, they are inconsistent and unreliable. People who do not value you tend to exhibit behaviors that reflect their inconsistency and unreliability, which can profoundly affect your emotional well-being. One clear indicator is their tendency to make promises they fail to keep. This not only shows a lack of respect for your time and commitments, but also suggests they do not prioritize your relationship. When they cancel plans at the last minute, it undermines any sense of security you might have in the connection, leaving you feeling unimportant and taken for granted. Additionally, their emotional unavailability can create an environment of unpredictability where you may find it challenging to gauge their feelings or intentions. This volatility can lead to frustration and confusion as you are left wondering where you stand with them. Such inconsistency erodes trust and can leave you feeling neglected, prompting you to reevaluate the worth of the relationship. Recognizing these signs is crucial for your emotional health, allowing you to set boundaries and seek connections with those who genuinely appreciate and value you. The emotional unpredictability of those who do not value you can manifest in mood swings or fluctuating levels of engagement, which can be particularly draining. One moment they may seem interested and involved, and the next, they may withdraw or become dismissive. This erratic behavior not only contributes to feelings of anxiety and insecurity, but can also create a toxic cycle of hope and disappointment. You might find yourself constantly trying to decipher their moods or behaviors, which is not only exhausting but can lead to self-doubt, making you question your worth. In relationships marked by such inconsistency, it's essential to recognize that you deserve better. Stable, reliable connections where mutual respect is the foundation. Understanding that emotional unavailability often stems from the other person's issues rather than your own can help you detach from their unpredictability. When you acknowledge that their behavior is a reflection of their lack of investment in the relationship, you can begin to shift your focus towards building relationships with those who show consistent support and appreciation. This shift can foster a healthier emotional environment where you feel secure and valued, ultimately allowing you to thrive in your connections and personal growth. Recognizing these traits in others empowers you to make informed decisions about who deserves your time and energy, aligning yourself with individuals who reflect the values you hold dear. Don't make too many plans with them. When navigating relationships with people who do not value you, it's crucial to be mindful about making plans with them. 
The tendency to overcommit or continually seek their approval can lead to disappointment and reinforce a one-sided dynamic. By not making too many plans, you protect your own emotional well-being and reduce the risk of feeling neglected or unimportant when those plans fall through or receive minimal effort in return. Limiting your engagements also creates space for more meaningful interactions with individuals who appreciate your time and presence. This approach allows you to maintain a healthier boundary, fostering self-respect and ensuring that your social energy is directed toward relationships that enrich your life rather than deplete it. Moreover, it can encourage a natural re-evaluation of the relationship. If the other person notices your reduced availability, it may prompt them to reconsider their behavior, ultimately leading to a more balanced connection or allowing you to disengage entirely from a relationship that isn't reciprocative. Don't rely on them for emotional support. In the realm of stoicism, one of the essential lessons is to avoid relying on others for emotional support. This principle emphasizes the importance of self-sufficiency and inner resilience. When we depend on others for our emotional well-being, we inadvertently place our happiness in their hands, making us vulnerable to disappointment and hurt. People are unpredictable. Their own challenges can affect their ability to provide support, leading to feelings of abandonment or neglect when we need them most. Instead of seeking validation or comfort from external sources, Stoics advocate for developing our own emotional strength. This can be achieved through practices such as self-reflection, mindfulness, and rational thinking, which empower us to manage our emotions independently. By cultivating inner peace and resilience, we can navigate life's challenges more effectively, fostering a sense of control over our emotional state that is not reliant on the whims of others. Ultimately, this shift in perspective allows us to engage with others in a healthier manner, fostering relationships that are based on mutual respect rather than emotional dependency. Be prepared for them to cancel or flake out. When engaging with others, especially in contexts where plans or commitments are involved, it's essential to be mentally prepared for the possibility that they might cancel or flake out. This can stem from a variety of reasons unexpected obligations, personal issues, or simply a change in interest. Anticipating this outcome allows you to manage your expectations and emotions more effectively. Instead of feeling disappointed or hurt when someone backs out, you can approach the situation with a mindset of acceptance and resilience. Understanding that everyone has their own challenges and priorities can foster empathy rather than frustration. Moreover, this perspective encourages you to maintain flexibility in your plans, allowing you to pivot and make the most of your time, regardless of others' commitments. By preparing for such eventualities, you not only safeguard your emotional well-being, but also cultivate a more adaptive approach to social interactions, enabling you to focus on what you can control, your reactions, and how you choose to spend your time. Behavior number four. They are disrespectful. People who do not value you often exhibit disrespectful behaviors that undermine your self-worth and emotional well-being. This disrespect can manifest in various ways, such as condescending language or tone, which serves to diminish your perspective and contributions. They might frequently interrupt you during conversations, signaling that your thoughts and opinions are not worthy of consideration. Moreover, these individuals may ignore or dismiss your feelings, failing to recognize the emotional impact their actions have on you. This insensitivity can take the form of rudeness, such as making sarcastic remarks or engaging in passive-aggressive behaviors that belittle your experiences. Over time, this pattern of disrespect can erode your confidence and sense of self, making it crucial to identify and distance yourself from such toxic relationships to maintain your emotional health and self-respect. Additionally, people who do not value you often lack empathy, which means they struggle to understand or care about your feelings and experiences. 
This lack of emotional awareness can lead to further disrespect, as they may fail to offer support during difficult times or dismiss your concerns as trivial. They may also engage in gossip or speak negatively about you behind your back, undermining your reputation and creating a toxic atmosphere. Such behaviors not only reflect their disregard for your worth, but also highlight a fundamental imbalance in the relationship where your needs and feelings are consistently overlooked. Moreover, this disrespect can manifest through body language, such as avoiding eye contact, crossing arms, or turning away, communicating disinterest or disdain. This combination of verbal and nonverbal cues reinforces the message that you are not valued, leading to feelings of isolation and hurt. It's essential to recognize these signs as indicators of a dysfunctional relationship, prompting you to set boundaries and protect your emotional health. Surrounding yourself with people who genuinely respect and value you is vital for fostering healthy connections that uplift and empower you, allowing you to thrive and grow as an individual. Stand up for yourself. Don't let people treat you disrespectfully. Standing up for yourself is an essential practice for maintaining self-respect and cultivating healthy relationships. It means asserting your boundaries and communicating your needs clearly without allowing others to belittle or undermine you. When you allow people to treat you disrespectfully, you send a message that their behavior is acceptable, which can lead to a cycle of mistreatment. By standing firm in your convictions and expressing your feelings, you demonstrate that you value yourself and expect the same from others. This doesn't mean responding with aggression or hostility. Rather, it involves confidently addressing disrespectful behavior and setting limits. By doing so, you not only protect your well-being but also encourage a culture of respect in your interactions. Remember, standing up for yourself is not just about confrontation. It's about self-advocacy and embracing your worth. Set boundaries. Let people know that you will not tolerate their disrespectful behavior. Walking away from a situation can be one of the most empowering choices you can make, especially when it comes to maintaining your inner peace and emotional stability. Often, we find ourselves in circumstances that provoke strong negative emotions, whether it's a heated argument, a toxic relationship, or a stressful environment. The Stoic philosophy teaches us that we cannot control the actions of others, but we can control our responses. By choosing to walk away, we reclaim our power and prevent further escalation of conflict or distress. This decision not only protects our mental well-being, but also allows us to reflect on the situation from a distance, fostering a clearer perspective. It's an act of self-respect and a declaration that we prioritize our peace over engaging in unnecessary drama or negativity. In essence, walking away is not an admission of defeat. Rather, it is a strategic retreat that can lead to personal growth and healthier interactions in the future. Identifying and understanding the behaviors of people who do not value you is crucial for safeguarding your emotional well-being. When you can recognize these detrimental behaviors, such as consistent disrespect, lack of support, or manipulative tendencies, you empower yourself to set healthy boundaries. This awareness acts as a shield against emotional harm, allowing you to distinguish between those who uplift you and those who drag you down. By understanding how such behaviors manifest, you can better navigate relationships and avoid unnecessary heartache. Moreover, this insight enables you to take proactive steps to protect yourself, such as limiting interactions with toxic individuals or engaging in self-affirming practices that reinforce your self-worth. Ultimately, acknowledging these unhealthy dynamics fosters a greater sense of self-respect paving the way for healthier connections that honor and value who you truly are. In addition to the tips mentioned above, here are some other things you can do to protect yourself from people who do not value you. Focus on your own growth and development. 
Build a strong support system of friends and family. Practice self-compassion and forgiveness. Learn to say no. Set boundaries. Don't take things personally. Focus on your own happiness and well-being. By following these tips, you can create a life that is filled with meaning and joy, regardless of how others treat you.